For the human brain to function, a long process of events must take place, including formation and differentiation of nerve cells from precursor cells, migration of immature nerve cells to their eventual positions, growth of axons building a network, and formation of synapses. In four weeks, the fertilized egg has turned into billions of cells which will form the nervous, muscular, vascular, digestive, and skeletal systems of the human body. Within the first month, the bulbous head and the arching back of the 4 mm long embryo are clearly visible. The structures which will give rise to the brain and spinal cord are now the most developed parts of the embryo. The brain will form from the cerebral vesicle. The wall of the cerebral vesicle is built of columnar neuroepithelium. Divisions of these neuroepithelial cells will produce neuroprogenitor cells. They will generate neurons and glial cells of the brain cortex. In a mitotic division, the genetic material is doubled and distributed among two daughter cells. The process is repeated, resulting in growth of the diameter of the cerebral vesicle. At 30 to 40 days, some of the non-dividing cells produce processes and form a marginal zone. Glial cells form a scaffold for neurons to migrate on and eventually form the cortical plate. The cortical plate will become the cerebral cortex whereas the intermediate zone will transform into white matter. Neurons that have reached the cortical plate grow and differentiate into granular and pyramidal cells and form the five layers of the cerebral cortex. Granular and pyramidal cells form cortical mini-columns. Neurons of a mini-column make excitatory and inhibitory connections, both within each column as well as between mini-columns. Mini columns are an elementary unit of the cortical network involved in signals, generation, and transmission. In a four month old fetus, the brain cortex contains all major anatomical and functional subdivisions, including visual, auditory, speech, and motor. 